being fit and healthy helps us in various ways. It improves our mental capacity and it also refreshes our mind and soul. But with all the activities in a day, a lot of people rarely get their workout in. In this show, we will be offering you tips and tricks on how to help you start a journey towards a healthier lifestyle. My name is Sophia Dallas. Join me as we kickstart your day with Jumpstart. Working out requires a lot of time, sacrifice, effort, knowledge, and several other aspects. Unfortunately, not everyone has the time in their everyday lives to fit all of these. This situation makes people who are both beginners and even those who have worked out for a very long time, and they develop a habit of passing half-truths along with fitness myths as facts. At the same time, other factors are constantly overlooked when it comes to proper training. But perhaps none are quite as disregarded as research. And it doesn't matter whether you only lift weights or solely rely on body weight exercises. Knowledge is key. For today, we are going to debunk a pretty popular myth in bodybuilding specifically that's been going around for so long and that is lifting weights sponsor growth and what better way to help us debunk this bodybuilding myth than with our fitness expert coach Aaron Anthony Romay okay hello, coach Aaron hello hello welcome, welcome to jumpstart so we're going to start to debunk all of these myths that's happening in the fitness community during in times of the pandemic so I want to ask What's the truth about myth? For example, lifting weights on zero. What can you say about this? So there's no research um, backing up this myth. Mm -hmm. that it really stunts your growth. But there's a optimal range for especially kids to lift weights. Mm -hmm. So it's so kids can't lift too heavy or mm -hmm. too many reps. Mm -hmm. And also and also lifting weights. Naman, uh, it helps it helps with your growth like mm -hmm. kasi ang ginagawa kasi ng lifting weights kasi um ginagawa sa bones per se is like it's making your bones denser mm -hmm. and also while lifting weights uh maglalabas ka ng certain hormones na nag-help sa growth mo so mm -hmm. it's not true na gusto niya sa growth mo mm -hmm. so so yun nga no parang a lot of people think na kapag nag-lift pa ako ng weights Liliit ako, pero hindi pala siya totoo. Like, yung nakaka-dense talaga siya ng ating bones and, and it proves our overall um, physical aspect na hindi lang tayo, hindi tayo lumiliit or hindi tayo tumatapad. That's a really great insight, pero ano masasabi mo or what do you say to people na naniniwala dito sa myth na to? Kapag nagbuhat ako or like I, I use dumbbells, liliit ako. What can you say about the people na naniniwala? Um, first and foremost, you can ask. Um, pwede sila lumapit sa coaches. Mm -hmm. And also, nag-google naman tong myth na to, hindi talaga siya totoo. Mm -hmm. So, and also, they should give it a shot before... Before... Nila isipin na liliit sila. Kasi di, di naman talaga. Mm -hmm. So, totoo nga yan, no? Parang... Hindi naman talaga sila liliit. They're just they're just exercising their muscles more when it comes to lifting weights and things like this. Pero can you give us a tip na when san san ka magsa start mo na when you wanna lift weights? Like what kilogram is this? Kung san ka ba mo na magsa start before you train your body into weightlifting? Um, so there's this thing called um RPE, so rate of perceived exertion. Okay. So 1 to 10. 10 is yung tipong mabigat na mabigat na talaga. Mm -hmm. And 1 is the, one is like nothing lang. So, I guess they should start lifting weights around 6 to 7 the effort. At the same time, they should start at the most basic movements lang. Mm -hmm. And that is for our overall body, right? Like, pwede siya sa arms, pwede siya sa everything pwede else. Pwede sa legs and everything else. Mm -hmm. That's a great insight, Coach Aaron. Kasi... I think a lot of our Tamashans out there thinking that this myth talaga is 
okay never na ako mag-lift ng body weights kasi five na ako baka bumaba pa ako ng 49 hindi pala totoo yon and thank you coach Irona for debunking this myth for us today so i think thank you thank you coach Irona for your time kasi ang dami talaga naming natutunan from you and with this debunking this fitness myth na talagang going along to our fitness community out there Thank you, Coach Aaron. We just learned great things from Coach Aaron. But it doesn't end there. Joining me next is a fellow Tamashan who will offer us fitness advices along with a sample of her workout routine. Our guest for today is best known for her weight training home workouts that took TikTok by storm. She is a member of the College of Fine Arts and Designs volleyball team and hashtag fitness goals every day. Please welcome to the show, Alaysa Dimda. So hello, Alay. Thank you for being our first guest hello. to our show. We're so happy to have you. Happy and grateful to have you here. Because um, it's really good that you're here. Na you're gonna help us motivate our Chamashan community to to kickstart towards their healthier lifestyle. So, so with that, I will start asking you this question. So I want to know. What drives or motivate you to continue working out? Because, diba, with your TikTok videos, with your Twitter videos, Aww, how do you, you motivate yourself to do these kinds of videos to inspire a lot of people across the internet? Mm. Well, I'm not gonna sugarcoat this, ah. Like, it's really, it's really hard. Literal na roller coaster experience. Because, uh, your motivation, hindi siya always nagistik jan eh. Uh, it's always the discipline and how badly you want it and making it a habit. And siguro factor na rin dito na I always remind myself na hey, you're getting closer to your goal or you're far away na so I give up. So yeah, that's what's keeping me from doing it. And important din kasi yung mag-journal ka everyday. So that's a really uh, need practice then if you really want to achieve a goal. Like in general, din naman siya, not just in the uh, fitness. Um, yung isa din na gusto ko when it comes to uh, gantong usapan is, I always set a short term and long term. So for example, uh, short term, uh, example is December. So gusto ko within three months or summer, uh, nakapag bikini na ako, yung mga ganung bagay. Ayun, so that's a good example of short term. And for a long term, syempre, by 40s or 50s, uh, gusto ko uh, malakas pa rin ako. So that's one of the uh, good things you can start para hindi ka laging nawawalan din ng gana. At least you can remind yourself from time to time na, oy may goal ka na, oy di ba yung gusto mo? So ayun. And that's a really good insight, no, na on how to help our Tumashans out there to motivate themselves with your TikTok videos, maybe your Twitter videos na. These kinds of tips that uh, you gave us our international community na it's really good now. We're mm -hmm. taking notes of this so we can start our fitness journey right away with your guidance. So I have another question to ask Aleha. Um, what workout routine are you currently doing and how many times do you usually work out mm -hmm. in a week? Well, uh, for now mm -hmm. since ako personally third year na rin, so may kasama na rin thesis and yung workload na dumadagdag na. Um, hinahati ko siya, pero at first, uh, let's say Sunday, uh, I list all my uh, workout routine and my schedule. So, hinahati-hati ko na agad yun, na okay, so medyo free ako sa Monday, so why not do this for at least 15 minutes na yung max, kung talagang busy ah. Or if ever I have the chance to uh, maximize my workout, hanggang 30 minutes na yun. So, uh, ayun, uh, if you really want it, kailangan mo talaga siyang gawin ng paraan and yun nga, kailangan mo siyang gawin uh, as part of your life daily routine so whenever you're setting a schedule, kailangan kahit 10 minutes nga malaking bagay na yun eh, basta maging consistent ka lang, even the small steps ayun so that's really good no? now we're setting long term and short term goals mm -hmm. towards this yeah. kasi if we're gonna start working out for like three times a week or four times a week we have to set our mind and our mm -hmm. goals now okay i'm gonna do this in a week and that's really good now 
na you have this stage na you have to be organized na you can you can butt it in even though you are already a third year student na with mm. all the pieces coming in all the pieces coming out and that's a really good routine mm-hmm. now so and my 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 another question for you is do you have any specific diet that you follow kasi you know there's this fitness myth na if you eat sky flakes every day it would mm. make you lose weight Diba? Para nakikita natin yun all the time in social media. So, what can you say about this? And do you have any specific diet that you follow? Well, uh, there are different types of diets kasi. Like, whatever works for you is good. But, uh, I'm currently on a calorie deficit diet. Uh, what is calorie deficit diet? Uh, it means uh, you burn more than you consume every day. So, ideally, uh, yun talaga yung pinaka way to lose that, uh, loosen our overall body fat. Uh, it's a good practice to have a flexible diet then. Kasi, so, that's um, really good. Bali, kailangan may minamintain lang akong calories per day. And at the same time, nabibreak ko dito yung restrictions kasi I can eat what I want. But for the beginner, since um, hindi naman kailangan nagad mag-calorie counting kasi nakaka-overwhelm din yun, uh, I suggest to do a healthy balanced meal where in your plate meron kang vegetables, uh, tamang protein, yung uh, lutong ulam, so pwede yun. And yun, sa kanin, okay, matakot doon kasi kailangan natin yun. It's our source of energy. It doesn't make us fat. No, that's not true. So, ayun. Uh, yun yung diet na tinitake ko for now. Mm, that's, that's really good, no? Kasi we are still learning about this. For the long term. Yes, actually. Na, we shouldn't be scared of rice. We shouldn't be Ako scared naman of at first, yeah. um, big foods. We just have to count our yes. calories. And I think calorie deficit is really something that people should learn about. So they wouldn't practically, let's say, starve themselves to deprive their energy just because they want to lose weight. So that's a really good insight, Ally. So my next question is, how do you warm up? Let's say warm up or cool down before or after weight training? Well, uh, since uh, buti na mention mo rin yan, kasi super important talaga na stretching and warm up, what I usually do is mobility exercises. Yan din yung mga ginagawa natin sa peak class natin, yung sa from head, ayan, yung ganyan. So, important din yun para iwas din sa injuries. And, yun nga, uh, whenever I do stretching from head to toe, uh, reps ko is 8 to 12 counts. Ayan. That's true, that's true, Alay. Kasi, you know, yung mga natututunan talaga natin sa PE, we just yes. thought that it's for grades. Eh. Pero it's actually towards a healthier lifestyle talaga natin na oh, we can pero, incorporate buti, these things that we na learn in our PE classes in UST <laughs> to our everyday lifestyle when it comes to working out. So, I think that's really good na, na Alay reminded us that hindi lang for grades yung PE actually in warm-up and cool-down. It really helps us towards our fitness journey. Yes. <laughs> so, speaking of fitness journey, you know, um, We've seen you do your videos in TikTok and YouTube. So, I've seen you lift gallons of water. So, what DIY equipment you can use or we can use as a substitute for, let's say, dumbbells, weights, barbells, and what weight should beginner lifters start with? Mm-mm. Well, since di ba nagkaroon nga ng pandemic and the lockdown was really unexpected, so nagsara din yung gym. And ako, lagi ako nag gym din nun. So when I went home, uh, doon ko na-realize na I have to be creative. So bali, uh, yung mga one liter na inumin, ayun. Para ko, hindi ko alam kung ano yung exact size niya. So ayun, yun yung ginagamit ko as a, um, tawag dito. Alternative ko for the dumbbells then So, ginagamit. Ah, super helpful niya kasi pwede mo siya magamit uh, for the lower body and the upper. So, super important nun. And for the dumbbells, and if beginner ka din naman, wala ka pang enough equipments, okay lang din yung mga water bottle. Tapos, uh, ang mahalaga lang naman din kasi dun is ma-start mo yung maayos na form. Kasi yun yung talaga yung pinaka-foundation. So, okay lang na mag-start ka sa kahit ganun muna. Then, pag nasanay na sa, or yung katawan mo sa sistema, dun ka na magbibigat. And if you have enough budget, why not go invest and buy? Oh, so, ayun. Sobrang gandang insight na na. You could actually use 
your water yes. bottles at home or maybe a one gallon of bottle that you have hanging around at home or maybe books na pwedeng pwede mong gamitin when it comes to weightlifting if you want to challenge yes. yourself, you want to grow your muscle more or challenge your muscle more. So, I think those are really great, um, let's say, tips or insights about things that you can use at yes. home, especially during the times of the pandemic. And speaking of the pandemic, a lot of our Tamashians out there are being discouraged and being stressed mm-hmm. with everything that is happening let's say online in the world yes. and we're all grasping for let's say normal life Mm-mm. back again and because the pandemic is so sudden diba right? so do you have any tips na you can give to the people who sometimes lose motivation to continue their workout routine well i have some tips na i hope maka help so uh, first if you can have the chance to work with uh, or to have a workout buddy, go. <laughs> so, kung may kapatid ka or kahit yung pets mo, sige, isama mo. Kasi iba pa rin yung impact na pag may kasama ka. Yung alam mong may magpupush talaga sa'yo and to look out for you. So, yun yung una. And, eto, magandang uh, itong story na pwede kong ikwenti, share sa inyo. So, Isipin niyo na lang din yung tissue roll. So ang random, 'di ba? But tissue roll. So why tissue roll? Kasi ang, ram- ang random naman noon. So at first, pag nag-remove ka ng first to first uh, four sheets ng tissue roll, 'di ba may kita mo ganun pa rin itsura niya. So uh, as time goes by, pag tinuloy-tuloy mo yung pagtanggal noon, 'di ba papayat siya? So, so parang tayo din yon. So, di ba, at nare, ah, first week of workout, parang feeling mo, ha, but parang ganun pa, di, wala nangyayari. So, syempre, in the progress, nasa progress talaga tayo. And, yung patience, kailang, yun din yung matitest sa atin. So, ayun, para tayong tissue roll. So, it takes time. And then, uh, third tip is, always stick to your goals, no matter what. Like, if, if you feel stuck, frustrated, or like, nothing happens, then you have to uh, assess yourself again, recheck your lapses, like what went wrong, tapos yun. Kasi pag nag-commit ka na sa fitness or working out for yourself, hindi lang naman yan physically, kasi mentally din yan. So important din na nawo-work mo din yung uh, sarili mo. Like yun nga, hindi naman lagi motivation yun nandyan. And last, ayun nga, like what I mentioned, make it a habit. Um, make fitness as something you really love because you are doing it for yourself and not for everyone. Yes, it will be hard, but when you get that, it's really fulfilling and it's a lifetime decision that you make. It's not, uh, you're doing it because it's not a requirement or punishment, but something that will help you grow physically and mentally. So, ayan. So, thank you, Alay. Those are really wonderful insights Now we can we can share to our Tumashan community so they can start their fitness journey together with Jumpstart. So, even though um, you want to think yes. of yourself as a teacher role, which is a pretty great insight, by the way, because if you would think of it nga naman, unti-unti siyang pumapayat, unti-unti siyang lumiliit. And, and those, yes. those pieces <laughs> of paper highlight. is really strong on the inside. And like, and like yung all the la- layers surrounding it. So, it's a really great analogy, Ally. And we really learned a lot from you today mm-hmm. na about all these fitness facts, about this fitness motivation, or what can you substitute for DIY at home and working out. So, I think those are really great insights. Okay, again, thank you so much, Ally, yes, for your you time. Too. We're so happy to have you here as our first guest in Jumpstart. With all that we learned for today, I think it's time to test some of Ali's suggested workouts for beginners at home. Come join me as I show you a workout routine to start you off on your fitness journey.
And that is all the time that we have for today's episode. A huge thank you to our guests, Ally and Coach Aaron, for importing us with useful knowledge in the world of fitness. I hope that the viewers at home learned a lot from them as much as I did. Once again, I am Sophia Dallas. We'll see you next time as we continue to help you in your fitness journey. From our home to yours, always remember to kickstart your day with Jumpstart. <laughs>